And welcome, this is Bala Scuba with part zero of Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. For those of you that are new to the channel, part zero is pretty much my chance to go over uh, what I will be doing in the LP uh, before we actually get that underway. Before we get started, there is one small note that I would like to make, a uh, small request, and that is uh, no spoilers throughout this game. Uh, that's pretty much standard across my channel, no spoilers for the game that we are playing. Uh, for this game in particular though, I would like uh, no spoilers for Xeno Saga or Xeno Gears to be honest with you. They're kind of the same universe. You're going to want to compare them a lot. I must ask you to resist posting that in channel comments. If you want to PM that to me, private message me, send me messages about that, that is, that is fine. But when you start posting them in channel comments, you know, you can't really guarantee that everybody that is watching this video has played Xenogears or watched Xenogears so they m may have no idea what's going on and you might spoil that for them and I don't like spoilers just just as a rule so if you want to compare them feel free to send them to me I'll be more than happy to talk about that with you but you know when you start doing it in public that's when I start having problems but with that out of the way Let's talk about this game, Xenosaga Episode 1. This is a long game. That is that is to say the least. Um, if you are not into plot-heavy games, this is probably not the game for you. Uh, I, however, am. Uh, I think I just saw a, a link to a video. I didn't actually watch it, but I saw a link to it. It said that it was all the cutscenes in Xenosaga. Uh, I assume that includes full motion video, scenes, which there are quite a bit, and voice acted cutscenes, of which there are very, very many. Uh, between those two, uh, it was uh, seven hours and change uh, of just cutscenes. Um, I will not talk over full motion videos, and the way that I'm going to label those is pretty much whenever it plays like a movie, uh, the game isn't really rendering sprites as much as it's just playing back something. Uh, I'll try not to talk over those. Those are usually introductions, uh, particularly action-heavy scenes. I'll try to leave those alone. Uh, the voice acted cutscenes, because there are so many of them, and that's when the game starts generating sprites. Um, it, it's the same sprites as we see in the real world when we're actually playing the game. Uh, I will talk during those cutscenes, but I will try to let them talk as much as possible. I'll try to put my voice right in the middle of their sentences. Now there's a third type of cutscene which I assume did not make that uh, video uh, and that's the text box cutscene where there's just this giant box of text pretty much the standard of what you're used to when you think of uh, dialogue in RPGs. Now I have a question, would you like me to read those? Uh, would you like me to try to voice act those? Or would you like me to uh, just be quiet, let you read it, and then react to those. My tendency has been to voice act things that are uh, plot relevant, and then just sort of react to things, you know, like talking to somebody in town or something like that. Uh, but in this game, because there are professional voice actors, I'm not sure if I feel comfortable doing that. But if that's what uh, you guys would like, I can, you know, attempt to do that. There are very many female voices in this game, and it's going to be hard for me to separate all of them. But that is he that is something that I can deal with. So if you want me to read those out loud, that is fine. If you want me to just be quiet, that is also fine. Um, oh, before I forget, yes, I'll be doing all three games. Uh, I did get that question. Yes, I will doing. I'll be doing all three games in a row, a hundred percent as. To the best of my knowledge, I always have to say that because I didn't program these games. If I've never come across it, I if I look up guides and they don't mention it, chances are I'm going to miss it. But to the best of my knowledge, I will be 100% in this game. That does mean all the doors. Uh, that does mean the robot at the end. Uh, the super huge-ass robot. I'm trying not to spoil too much, but um, th that I will be getting those. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Oh, random encounters. There are not really random battles in this game, but I will be cutting out repeat battles uh, to try to keep everything going at a little bit uh, faster of a pace. I hope that won't slow down my recording schedule of this game too much uh, because it is a new setup. I'm not exactly sure how quickly I'll be able to edit stuff like that out, but it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, 
it should be pretty standard c compared to what I'm used to in other games. With that said, I think that is everything that I wanted to go over. Unfortunately, because, uh, well, maybe unfortunately, um, I can't name anything in this game as far as I can remember. I might be able to name that robot that I mentioned. I might be able to name a bunny off the top of my head, but I don't think that's the case with either one. I don't. I don't think I can name them. Um, either way. I'm not going to be able to name anything in terms of final party. You know, we're way, way before that. So uh, nothing in terms of, of naming things. Customization in this game is rather limited. But I think that is everything that I wanted to go over before we actually got the game underway. So I hope you guys look forward to Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. We should be able to get this underway rather shortly. Thanks for watching.